All right, today is April 12th, and I bought uh, a couple cans of tuna fish in a can and one piece of wild fit, wild tuna, and I want to test them because I'm curious. So the tuna is in the other room, so I wanted to get, to, I've been getting a background between 20 and 30 counts per minute. which will convert it to the sieverts, I think they call it. Sieverts an hour. Put the audio up. So about 10 for 10 it's about 38 go back 10 9 about it will say about 30 counts per minute so the tuna is in the other room because I have a feeling that this is going to go up a little bit more once we walk into the, once we get it near the can. So I wanted to start it off the video in the other room. So we'll start. And the cans there. Actually, we want to put it over here. All right, here we go. We're going to get the first can. We're going to call this can CS Solid White Tuna. It really doesn't matter what the brand is because I would imagine it all comes from the same place and I'll try not to oh pew it does smell like tuna oh man that was a close one. Oh my gosh that was close Alright, let me move this can so it'll be in a better position. So now remember, background's been between 20 and 30, I'd say. And I always like to give it at least two minutes. So let's float it around the area. Be careful so I don't fling this.
Alrighty, I think that's enough of that one. Because I got plenty more cans. I would definitely say that's a little bit above background. So, let's put this one on the side. We'll say this is SK Solid White Albacore Tuna. I want to fling it, that's for sure. Let's float it though. Now remember anyways, these are baseline readings. This is the first time I'm testing tuna. I heard about maybe possible poisoning in the Pacific seafood and I want to see what the the baseline is so we know years to come if it gets better or worse I think I'm about to shake the can of its radionuclides. And that's another thing. I don't know how this stuff is going through the, the meat of the tuna. How all these alpha, beta, gamma rays may be acting, I have no clue. Of course this is an unscientific experiment. This is just an experiment of experiment of curiosity for myself.
Alrighty. I'm going to go to the next one. Alright, this one is what they call a wild albacore tuna. WP. Wild albacore tuna. And what's nice about this is it's got the. I wish all of them were like this. Oh, that looks like one nice piece. Yeah, because you never know. Some of these cans actually can be pre-Fukushima, actually. Alright, that's the wild. Give that enough time. Put this on the side. Alright, here's some fancy solid tuna. We'll call this the K O T H. No, K O T S. Fancy solid tuna. It doesn't, I don't see no date on it. So. Like I said, this is just to make a baseline. So when we know when we're testing pre-Fukushima tuna. Then we'll be able to compare them.
already. Only because I have a couple more cans. BH Albacore Solid White Tuna. And this one actually has a best by September 21st, 2013. So that might give us a good sign.
Looks like a bunch of stuff is flying off of this one. Remember, each time that little red light beeps, it's an ionizing effect. Ionizing effect. All right, I got a couple more. Believe it or not. Alright, this one is the BB Solid White Albacore in Water. And this one says Best by August 2014. So the previous one I think was a little bit younger in can age. Just gotta be careful not to spill any of that. Tuna juice. Ooh. Ah. Uh. There we go. We got one more after this, and then we have the live piece. Which I'm excited to see because that's going to be the freshest. Now remember, background's been between 20 and 30. So you got to figure if it goes at least up to 50 it's got to be telling us that there's more radiation in that area than there was background so my conclusion is that it's got to be coming out of that tuna how much it is I have no clue how much per count per minute each time it goes up one point how much radiation that is I haven't figure that out yet but I'm just trying to get a baseline like I said to see if these numbers are higher a couple years from now or lower I hope they're lower but if they're higher it might be unsafe to eat I don't I'm not gonna eat any of this stuff just sh it's just a shame that Japan ruined such a uh, beautiful animal I, I loved salmon actually this is tuna I'm sorry I used to like tuna too till the mercury but now it's like you gotta worry about radiation and mercury and actually some of these cans were bragging how there's only half the amount of mercury now than a conventional one basically accepted
this seems to be the one that, with the least amount so far of all the cans. It didn't really get out of the 30s until I speak and say that. But, no, maybe not. Oh, maybe so. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Yep, just as soon as I speak, it doubles. Now there you go, what's that telling you? I know what it's telling me. <laughs> Isn't that weird I said this is the one that had the least amount? That's why I need to give it more time, but I don't have time to be spending on bunches of cans, but I just wanted to do just this to just to get a gist of what's going on in this particular batch on this date So I can move this around, agitate it. All right. Let's do the last can. No, I don't want to put this down on the side. Let's see one more time how high this goes. Let's see if it climbs. Like I said, this is the hottest can so far. Alright, let's uh, do the last can here. This is the H. Chunk Light Yellowfin Tuna in Water. Which this is cool that this is the last one of the cans because I have actually bought a live specimen of the yellowfin. Be careful here again not to spill. Especially on the last can. I made it this far.
and bend it back without trying to flip it so that juice goes everywhere because that would suck all right here's the last can let's do it Now I'm pretty sure the yellowfin tuna, that breeding ground, or its breeding range, is right outside of the island where the plants are. So this is the one I was most curious about. All right, well, my conclusion on the cans is I definitely think they have a little because it's definitely above background. So that leads me to believe that something's making my meter go up. So it's got to be in the can. One can in particular seemed to be, the, I think the previous one before this one seemed to be the one that was the hottest. And they all were just slightly all above which you saw for yourself. So we're going to head on to the last specimen, which is the live one. Let's get that one. There it is. Grade one yellow tuna wild. Today's date four twelve twelve.
All right, I'm bringing in the fish. All right, the batteries ran out. What well, got too late? So this is 24 hours later. I'm bringing the piece out here. Pull it right up, put it smack dab, dab down there. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Alrighty, I'm back, and here we go. This is yellowfin tuna, wild, bought yesterday. Now I'm moving this around so I don't know if there might be little hot spots actually on the piece itself. Seems like when I came down lower, this is the center. That little nuclear symbol is the center of the inspector itself. So as it seems like I moved further down, like right there, which would be the bottom edge.
You know, it seems like in this spot. Not too shabby for a little piece of meat, though. I mean, it definitely seems like when I go down further here. So I don't know if it concentrates on which part of the fish concentrates more. But it definitely seems to be picking up more than background. Even a little bit is too much for me. But, like again, this is a baseline test. Because this is the first piece of yellowfin tuna. Wild, or live, unlike the canned stuff. see what it's going to be like years down the road. Me, I'm getting a little bit weary in the, because this is one fish that's in the Pacific is so huge. If it is being so diluted as they say the so-called experts how is he getting into these fish if it's getting so diluted Well, there you go. Nothing too drastic. It's drastic enough, but I would say nothing alarming just yet. If I get my first reading over a hundred, then I would say, yeah, let's begin to maybe be be alarmed, which we should be right now, anyways. But people are still gonna eat this. I won't. This will go out. like the salmon till next time
nothing too spectacular so that's actually very promising for this piece. 